Aloha friends. Um, welcome. I'm going to do, I'm just going to check myself. Oh, it looks like I'm live. It's working. Good. So um, I want to invite you to join me for a little brain break. Um, so this live is basically a, um, a live about breath and breathing techniques, um, which in yoga are called pranayama. Um, so a quick introduction for anyone I don't know. Um, my name is Sarah Slater Snyder. Um, I am a uh, LCSW, a therapist, licensed therapist in private practice. Hi, Elizabeth. I'm glad you're here. Um, I'm also a registered yoga teacher and um, a mental health educator and intuitive wellness mentor. And um, I just, the thing that I love more than anything is combining my passion for, for yoga and for counseling. Um, and so I just love to be able to provide different ways to support women. And, um, you know, I was sharing with someone recently that the reason that I, I decided to create um, the Women's Wellness Circle is really because I see a lot of girls and women in my private practice um, and through my wellness business, many of whom are struggling with the same issues, right? It's a lot of um, feeling stressed, overwhelmed, anxious, um, sometimes depressed, you know, like stuck, like we're just not sure what we need to do um, to take better care of ourselves. Um, and I think a lot of us struggle to put ourselves first. We tend to be caretakers of everyone else. Um, and so I want to just share with you some really simple ways that you can take care of yourself, right? These are really, I mean, these are, these are radical self-love practices. Um, in yoga, uh, so prana, which is when we talk about pranayama, it's one of the eight limbs of yoga. And prana is really like our life force. It's our life force energy. Um, and yogis, you know, believe that when we use the breath to connect with that life force energy, that it actually allows us to align our body and our mind and our spirit. Um, and so this is such a simple and beautiful way to, um, to practice radical self-love. And it's so simple. And no matter where you go, you always have your breath, right? Your breath is always with you. It's always accessible to you as a resource. Um, so prana, again, is this breath, this life force energy that we're going to be tuning into today. And yama um, in Sanskrit means control. So literally, we're going to be practicing some breath control. And I've shared this in other lives, but I'll just mention again that the reason that this works, right? We know that pranayama, that breath control, connects the mind and the body. We know that it it supplies the body with oxygen, right? And removes toxins when we're inhaling and exhaling and, you know, using the breath in this way. And it just, it provides her so many physiological benefits. I'll share a few. Um, when we practice pranayama, we are literally counteracting stress. We are decreasing stress, agitation, anger, um, right? Our emotional body carries so much tension as well as our muscular body, right? Um, our physical body, but, but we don't sometimes realize that our emotional body is carrying tension as well. And so pranayama allows us to actually tune into our emotional self, our emotional body and the mental body, which also carries a lot of tension, right? And it allows us to sort of bring them into one to, to unite. So literally yoga, um, is the practice of uniting body, mind, and spirit. Um, yoga means to yoke or unite. Um, so pranayama itself will increase your sleep, right? It will help you so that you sleep better at night. Um, you'll, you'll, you might notice that you are able to be more mindful, um, in your awareness. You may also notice that you're more sharp, like it enhances your cognitive functioning. It actually reduces cravings when we practice breath control, reduces our blood pressure, right? So, so pranayama is excellent. If you struggle with hypertension, um, you want to be using some of the breathing techniques I'm going to teach you today, right? And when we practice this pranayama, it's also going to improve our lung function. So there's just, there's like so many different benefits um, to this practice. And the one thing I'll share before we get into some of the techniques um, is just that I think it's important to recognize that our, let's see, the best way to explain this. So 
our body, you know, essentially we have our nervous system that breaks down into multiple components. One of those components is our autonomic nervous system, right? And the autonomic is like our automatic nervous system. It, it takes care of everything that we um, don't even have to think about. And um, so what we really want to do is we want to be aware that when we start taking deeper inhales and exhale breaths that we're actually activating a nerve it's the longest nerve in the body uh the vagus nerve which is also called the wandering nerve um and it literally that wanders it it, it runs from uh, our tailbone through our gut all the way up through the brain and specifically, it, it actually innervates the diaphragm. So it runs through the diaphragm so that when we actually take deep inhalations and then exhalations, specifically longer exhalations, the vagus nerve sends a message to the brain that tells the brain to stop the fight or flight response and to activate the parasympathetic rest and digest response. So literally breathing counteracts stress by stimulating this vagus nerve. There are other ways to stimulate the vagus nerve. I've talked about that in other lives, but today we're focusing on the breath. So the simplest breathing technique that I can teach you, and I, I use this with pretty much every client in my practice, um, is, is the simplest one. It's called belly breathing. And I think what a lot of us don't realize is that when we are running around in our sympathetic nervous system in that fight or flight response, and we're stressed, we're in, we're using what's called shallow breathing, like we're in the chest, right? So we're inhaling into the chest and that's, that's good. That's great. That keeps us alive, but that isn't actually getting the breath um, or, or activating the vagus nerve because we're not actually expanding the diaphragm in the way that we need to, to activate that vagus nerve, to send the message to the brain, to, you know, um, initiate that parasympathetic response. So what we want is to practice actually belly breathing. So when I teach this to my clients, I have them put one hand on their chest and then, and I'll stand so you can see, and one hand on their belly, right? And literally we're going to practice what it feels like to breathe into our chest versus breathing into our belly. Okay. So we're going to try this now. So I'm going to do, um, we're going to cover several different breaths today. Uh, belly breathing, equal breathing, box breathing, Ujjayi breathing, and bees breathing today. So five different breathing practices, but this is where we're going to start is with belly breathing. So wherever you are, you want to sit up tall, close the eyes, place, let's place one hand on our chest and one hand on the belly. And we'll just take a moment to breathe into the chest, inhaling into the chest, filling up the chest cavity with the breath and releasing that as you exhale, right? Now in yoga, so continue to just breathe into the chest, in and out, right? And with the practice of yoga, we are, um, we, we, we basically are wanting to bring our awareness to the body and to the breath, right? And so as we're inhaling into the chest, just notice what that feels like in the body, right? And notice, you know, what is happening as you inhale and exhale into the chest. What is that like for you? Just to be here, right? Nowhere to be but right here. All right, so simple. However, we're not yet breathing into the belly. So let's change it up, right? Let's see what it feels like to actually practice this belly breathing. And I want you to almost visualize that the belly was like a balloon. So with your inhale, you're going to visualize that breath as it comes in through the nose, traveling all the way almost down the spine and into the belly upon inhale, filling up the belly like a balloon. See what that feels like. Fill the belly, right? And, and as we exhale, we release the breath, the belly falls. And we can release the, the breath through the nose or through the mouth, whatever you're comfortable with, right? So typically in yoga, we want to inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose. But if we're congested or that's not, that doesn't feel good, do what feels right in your body, right? So ideally inhaling through the nose, but if we need to exhale through the mouth, that's okay. All right, so let's try that a few more times. We're going to practice belly breathing, inhaling, filling the belly visualizing the breath almost like pouring like a waterfall down the spine and pooling in the belly and as we release the breath right the belly falls 
and the breath leaves through the nose or through the mouth. And do that a few times on your own, inhaling, filling the belly. Exhaling through the nose or through the mouth, releasing the breath. Notice the difference, right? Feel the quality of the, of the breath. As you inhale, fill the belly. And as you exhale, the belly falls. Release all stress and tension, anything that you're carrying with you today, right? Release that with each exhale breath. If you'd like to move both hands to the low belly, go ahead, right? Sometimes it's nice to just place the hands on the belly as we practice this simple belly breathing. Continuing on your own to inhale into the hands, into the low belly. As if you're blowing up a balloon with the belly. And then as you exhale, the belly falls, the breath rises, and releases out through the nose or through the mouth. It's that simple, right? Sometimes we complicate this, but it really is that simple. And I wonder, what is this, how is this different, right? As we breathe into the belly, do you notice a difference in the quality of your breath, in the difference between how your body or your mind feel. I know for me, when I'm chest breathing, which is what we do when we're having a panic attack or when we are um, even just feeling anxious or stressed, it's <sighs> right. It's like this very shallow breath versus when we're in that belly, it's much, much deeper and it is much, much more relaxing. The whole body can start to let go. Right. And literally what we're doing, again, we're stimulating that vagus nerve. We're sending a message to the brain. The body starts to shift into that rest and digest response. Right. So we're going to take this a step further. So this is belly breathing. Super simple. We're going to make it a little, uh, take it a step further, but keep it simple. We're going to practice what's called equal breathing. And equal breathing is still belly breathing, but we're going to match the inhale breath with the exhale breath. Right. So we're going to make the inhale the same length as the exhale. And as we do this, we're gonna practice. So we'll start with, in a moment, inhaling for four and exhaling for four, right? And we're just gonna be in that for a few rounds. And then we're gonna elongate the breath and we're gonna start to inhale for a count of five, exhale for a count of five. We'll take a few rounds, right? Then we're gonna move into um, moving all the way, actually inhaling and exhaling for a count of eight. We may not go all the way up to eight today, but you can do that on your own. You can get all the way up to an inhale for a count of eight and an exhale for a count of eight. Okay, so I'm gonna just walk us through a few rounds of this and then I'd like you to be practicing this on your own. Okay, so we'll close the eyes if they're not already closed. Sit up tall, right? Allow yourself to be comfortable. The hands can still be on the belly or just resting in the lap, whatever's comfortable. And when you're ready, let's inhale through the nose. And we're going to count one, two, three, four. The breath is pooling in the low belly. And let's exhale, releasing the breath for the same four count. One, two, three, four. Trying it again, inhaling for a count of one, two, three, four. And as we exhale, one, two, three, four. On the next inhale, we're going to elongate the breath. Right, so on your next inhale, let's go ahead and inhale together for a count of five. One, two, three, four, five. And visualize that belly filling with breath. And as we exhale, we'll release the breath for that same count. One, two, three, four, five. Good, try that on your own. Counting to yourself, inhaling for five, filling the belly. And exhaling when you're ready for the same five count. Counting it out on your own. Doing a few rounds. And on the next inhale, let's try inhaling for a count of six. So as we inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six the belly is full and let's exhale for the same count one two three four five six good now practice that on your own inhaling for six filling the belly 
visualizing like a balloon, the belly is rising, it's expanding with the breath. And as we release, the belly falls, we count to six. Counting on your own. Noticing what that feels like to slow it down, right? Slowing down the breath. If that feels good to you, that six count, you can stay here. If you would like to try, we're going to inhale once more, this time for a count of seven. Inhaling when you're ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And exhaling as you're ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good, try that again on your own. One round of counting to yourself as you inhale and as you exhale. And on the next inhale, let's elongate the breath to a count of eight. Inhaling one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Exhaling one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Try that on your own. If eight felt too long, scale it back. Go to seven, go to six, go to four, whatever feels good in your body. Every body is different. So continuing just inhaling for whatever count feels good in your body and exhaling the breath for that same equal count. And then when you're ready, let's go ahead and just allow the breath to be effortless. So keep the eyes closed, allow the breath to be effortless and just notice how the body is feeling. Notice how the mind is feeling, right? What is the quality of the mind right now? Notice if the inner critic has come in, right? And is telling you that you're doing it wrong or you're not good enough for not getting this or that, right? The inner critic has a lot of thoughts and a lot of things to say. See if you can use the breath to just quiet that inner critic. And just be with yourself, right? That's really what this practice is. So we're going to move into our next, um, our next breath, which is what's called box breathing. So you can keep the hands on the belly. You can stay right where you are. You can keep the eyes closed. And for box breathing, we're basically going to be visualizing a box, right? The four sides of the box. And with the inhale breath, we're going to visualize moving up the box for a count of four. We're going to hold the breath for a count of four as we move across the top of the box. We're going to release and exhale the breath as we visualize moving down the side, the other side of the box. And then we'll hold the breath for a count of four. Same thing as we visualize. So it's like tracing the outside of a box with our minds. Meanwhile, we are inhaling for four, holding for four exhaling for four, holding for four, right? And that's box breathing, very simple. So let's try it. So again, sitting up tall, closing the eyes, hands on the belly or in the, in the lap, whatever's comfortable. And let's inhale, one, two, three, four, same thing, filling the belly. We're gonna hold the breath, one, two, three, four, exhaling, one, two, three, four. Holding the breath, one, two, three, four. Good, let's trace the box again. When you're ready, inhaling, one, two, three, four. Holding, one, two, three, four. Releasing upon exhale, one, two, three, four. Holding the breath, one, two, three, four. Try that on your own once or twice. Counting to yourself as you inhale, hold, exhale, 
hold, right? And just that's enough for us to focus on. But if we like that image, that visualization of the box, tracing that with our mind, you can hold that image as well. Noticing what that feels like as we do that for the box breathing, just for another round. And then let's allow the breath to be effortless. Notice how the body's feeling. Allow the inhale and the exhale to come in and out. We're not holding, we're not concentrating too intensely, we're just being present <clears throat> with the inhale and exhale breath. So with box breathing, we actually can, we can use that uh, box breath for anywhere from like really three rounds to like nine rounds, whatever feels good. So there's, you know, there's no pressure here. It's really whatever um, is feeling good in your body. Um, I think for a lot of people, it's a little uncomfortable or unfamiliar to hold the breath like that. Um, but again, <clears throat> this practice is is ultimately bringing a sense of control. So they call this um, creating like vagal tone. So when we use these different breaths, we're actually toning the vagus nerve, right? So it's it's actually really helpful and healthy for our nervous system. We are practicing regulation of our nervous system when we do these these different breathing techniques. So I'm going to share um, two more, two more different types of breathing. Um, the first one is what's called ujjayi breathing. And this is really what is kind of most commonly used in a yoga class. Um, <clears throat> ujjayi breathing, I posted about it the other day in our group. And essentially it is creating almost like an audible sound through the throat um, as we exhale. And it's, it's subtle. It's not it's really, and that's part of where I think people struggle with this. Um, we want to keep the mouth closed. So we're breathing, we're inhaling and exhaling through the nose when we practice ujjayi breath. It's also called um, victorious breath or even ocean breath. Um, and what you can think about is it's almost like as you exhale the breath, it's almost like you're <sighs> making like a sound a ha sound like a like an oat like the ocean right it almost sounds like ocean waves a little bit as you exhale the breath um and so we're gonna we're gonna try this one and the ujjayi breath is just so so nourishing to the body um it really can be great for releasing tension um for actually regulating our body temperature it can kind of help to create a almost a sense of um, warmth or heat in the body you will probably uh, notice that it improves your concentration, right? Because we're actually like oxygenating um, our blood a little bit more. Um, so up to you. If you like having the hands on the belly, you can keep them there. If you like having the hands just on the, on the legs or in the lap, whatever feels good, right? But we'll try once more. We're going to sit up tall, close the eyes, and we're going to practice Ujjayi breathing. So as you inhale the breath, right? Make sure that the mouth is closed. We're going to inhale through the nose and you're going to, as you exhale and release the breath, somewhat constrict the back of your throat to the point that you're almost like <sighs> able to make that <sighs> sound like a rushing noise as you exhale. But it's, it's again, the mouth is closed and we're releasing through the nose. So it sounds a little bit like this. <sighs> Right? I don't know if you could hear that, but it's like an audible exhale, like an audible uh, sound through the back of the throat as you exhale the breath. Um, so again, just make sure that you are um, continuing on your own. I'm going to allow you just to try that out. So I think it helps to close the eyes, inhaling. And as you exhale, the back of the throat is constricted. We release through the nose, but we're making an audible sound through the throat. It's very calming. Like I find it so, so calming to my nervous system. It almost immediately takes away my tension. I notice too that 
um, and please continue just to, to practice this ujjayi breath. But for me, <clears throat> you know, as I move through yoga poses, for example, and I use this ujjayi breath, it allows me to kind of feel calm, to feel steady and stable, um, and and to feel grounded. So what I notice though is that when I'm not on my yoga mat, so for example, when my toddler <clears throat> makes a mess, you know, throughout our house or he's having a tantrum, if I I almost immediately go into ujjayi breathing and I find that it it calms me. It takes me from that place of um, you know, could be a place of frustration or anger or stress, and it almost immediately calms calms the body and the mind. Um, so ujjayi breathing is something you can really use any time, and it's so wonderful um, to be able to practice it, you know, off the mat and in our in our daily life, right? So um, let's do a few more rounds of just that ujjayi breathing and, and notice how you're feeling, right? So as we inhale. And exhale as you make that rushing sound, that ha ah sound through the back of the throat. What does that feel like for you and your nervous system? Right? Like, how is the body feeling? How is the mind feeling? Do you feel like it releases some tension for you? This is a big one. I, I really love Ujjayi breath. I'll just be here for another round. Allowing that audible exhale through the back of the throat. And then let's make the breath effortless again. All right, so now breathing in and out, no more ujjayi breath, just allowing the breath to be effortless. Coming back to the present moment, back to the space where we are. And we've got one more breath that we're going to practice, and this one is one of my favorites as well. So this is um, Brahmari breath, or it's also called Bee's breath. Um, and Bee's breath is also incredibly effective at reducing tension and stress. So it's actually one of the best um, if you're feeling agitated or frustrated or anxious or even angry. Um, be, uh, Bee's breath is actually really, really um soothing for the nervous system it almost creates like a vibration right so it's it's literally like a humming breath um so similar to the ujjayi breath where we were inhaling and upon exhale we were constricting the back of the throat and we were releasing um, making that audible sound with brahmari breath um, or bees breath we're going to inhale and upon exhale we're going to make almost like a humming sound like a bee right so i'll do a few for you so you can you can sort of hear what it sounds like um but this is another one that you can do for anywhere from like five rounds of bees breath to nine um but again it's so calming so i'll do a few and then i'll walk us through it so it sounds a little bit like this so we inhale and exhale hmm. So I almost want to keep going with it. It feels so good. It's like I, I can, for when I practice bees breath, I can feel the vibration like through um, different parts of my, my nose and my head, my ears even. Um, and it's almost like oming, right? So in a yoga class, if you've ever, you know, heard sort of that om sound, it's similar, but it's a humming. Um, but it's the same idea of it's creating sort of this vibration that allows us to quiet the mind, to come into our breath, and to and to sort of still and unite body and mind and spirit, right? So let's try it together. We're going to try five rounds of bees breath. So as you're ready, we're going to inhale. And as we exhale, make that humming sound, right? Trying it on your own. Allow that humming sound to come through. And as you're ready, when your exhale breath ends, start again, inhaling. I'll do the next one with you. And as we exhale the breath, hmm. inhaling, 
Exhaling. Mm. Inhaling. Exhaling. Mm. Inhaling. Exhaling. Mm. Last one, inhaling, exhaling. Mm. So take a moment to release the breath. Just observe the quality of the mind state of the body. Notice the feeling of stillness and quiet, that tranquility of the spirit that comes from these breath work techniques, right? From this pranayama. just being present here for another moment just witnessing our own internal experience through pranayama through our breath control notice do you feel slowed down are you yawning right those are actually all signs that we're in our parasympathetic nervous system that relaxation response Whenever you feel ready, you can open the eyes and just return to your space. So these are just a few. I mean, there's actually a lot more um, pranayama that, that we can practice. Um, if, this, if you enjoyed this and you want to learn more, um, I will be um, sharing more in my upcoming free workshop that's going to be on January 7th. So it's this um, recalibration retreat that I'm going to be leading. Uh, it's virtual, but it will be a really incredibly restorative practice. So it's really, um, the goal is to essentially reset, you know, our, our nervous system and to rewire the brain um, for a healthier us um, and a, a healthier you. And we're going to do that through restorative yoga poses. Um, which are the asana. We're going to be practicing some meditation uh, as well as some breath work. So um, we'll be engaging and in, in sort of going into some of the different limbs of yoga. And um, I'll be also incorporating some intention setting and gratitude into our practices during that workshop. Um, and, you know, really, I think using these tools um, as a for as a practice, ultimately, of radical self love, um, of stress management, you know, I want to be able to teach you things that you can use in your daily life. Um, so if you are struggling with insomnia, or, you know, anxiety, I know this is a stressful time right now with the holidays, um, please use some of these pranayama and and definitely consider signing up for the recalibration retreat. It's free. So why not if you can make two hours, um, it's going to be 2 p.m. Hawaii time on Friday, January 7th, and I think it's 7 p.m. Eastern time on January 7th. And you can sign up on my website, um, aboundingcircles.com. Um, I'll put the link uh, here in the comments for you to just click on. Um, it's under my upcoming events um, section of the circles page. So um, thank you guys for tuning in today. I hope that you're feeling a little bit more relaxed and restored. And, um, you know, if there's any questions, feel free to write those, share those um, in, either in the comments now, or if you're catching the replay, you can write any comments and I'll write back to you. Um, so I appreciate you guys being here. Elizabeth, I hope that you are feeling wonderful and relaxed. Um, I'd love your feedback on just how you're 
mind and body are feeling after those practices. Um, but I look forward to connecting with you guys a little bit more, whether it's through the recalibration retreat or, you know, just through our, our circle. Um, and if anybody is feeling like they want to dive a little bit deeper into this stuff, I, I do individual wellness sessions um, and have packages as well where we can, um, you know, do several consecutive sessions in a row. So, um, so reach out. I'm here and I uh, want to support you in um, really diving deeper into yourself and connecting with yourself on a, on a deeper level. So thank you guys. Have a beautiful Aloha Friday. Bye-bye.